Do you ever find yourself after you went out to take some pictures, you came back thinking that you don't like or even hate images you've taken? Or you sometimes find yourself thinking that your photo equipment isn't complete and you feel the need to buy additional stuff in order to make better images? If you answered yes to either of those questions, this video is for you. Photography can be a challenging craft and even experienced photographers sometimes don't like the images they produce. Recently I myself went through similar face, so I decided to make this video in order to help the ones in similar position and also share what we can do about it so we would be able to stress less and take better shots in the future. If at any point you'll find this video useful, please feel free to drop it a like and now let's get into the video. Social media and influencers can sometimes be one of the main reasons why we feel dissatisfied with our own photography. With the rise of social apps, we are constantly bombarded with images of seemingly perfect landscapes, portraits and food photography and etc posted by influencers. This can lead us to associate ourselves with images that we wouldn't be able to take, making us feel envious. However, it's important to remember that these images are often heavily curated, edited and taken in specific conditions that we may not have access to. By understanding this, we can appreciate the beauty of these images without comparing them to our own work and focus on developing our own unique style and vision. Instead of feeling demotivated, we can use these images as inspiration and study how the influencer took a particular shot. By breaking down the steps, we can figure out what we need to do to achieve a similar result. For instance, if you like a particular portrait shot, analyze the location the shot was made in, what lighting was used and what lens was used to capture that shot. Make a list of all the steps you need to take to achieve a similar result and then work towards it. As being professional photographers, we often hold ourselves to very high standards and may be very critical of our own work. Even if our work meets or exceeds industry standards, we may feel that it is not unique enough or does not stand out from the work of our peers. This can lead to feelings of dissatisfaction and even imposter syndrome. One way to deal with this is to focus on the process rather than end result. Instead of obsessing over whether our work is good enough, we can focus on the act of creating and the enjoyment we get from the process. We can also remind ourselves that even the best photographers in the world have doubts about their work and that is okay to feel this way. Another way to deal with this is to get feedback from other photographers or mentors. They can offer a fresh perspective and help us to see our work in a new light. They can also provide a constructive criticism that can help us improve our skills and grow as an artist. Photography can be emotionally taxing and burnout can set in if we don't take care of ourselves. Burnout can manifest as a lack of motivation, creativity and enthusiasm, leading to dissatisfaction with our work. One way to deal with burnout is to take a break from photography and engage in other activities that bring joy to us. This can help us recharge our batteries and come back to photography with a renewed sense of purpose and creativity. Another way to deal with burnout is to set boundaries and prioritize self-care. We should take breaks in photography when we need them, prioritize sleep, exercise and healthy eating and engage in activities that help us manage stress. If we've been working in the same genre or style for a long time, we may start to feel that our work has become too repetitive. This feeling of overexposure can lead to a sense of dissatisfaction with our images. One way to deal with overexposure is to challenge ourselves to try new things and step outside our comfort zone. This can involve experimenting with new techniques, genres or subject matter. We can also seek inspiration from other photographers or artists and try to incorporate new ideas into our work. Another way to deal with overexposure is to take a break from our usual subject matter or genre and explore other areas of photography. This can help us to see our work in a new light and bring fresh perspective to our work. Clients, our directors and other stakeholders may have specific expectations of what they want to see in our work. Meeting these expectations while also staying true to our own creative vision 
can be challenging and may lead to dissatisfaction if the results don't match up. One way to deal with this is to communicate clearly with the client and manage their expectations from the outset. This can involve discussing their goals and vision for the project and establishing a clear scope of work. Another way to deal with this is to focus on the aspects of the project and align with our creative vision and strengths. We can also try to find ways to incorporate our own style and vision into the project while still meeting the client's expectations. As our skills and interests evolve, we may look back at our older work and find that it no longer meets our current standards. This feeling of personal growth and evolution can be positive, but it can also lead to sense of dissatisfaction with past work. One way to deal with this is to acknowledge and embrace personal growth and evolution as a natural part of the creative process. We can view our past work as a reflection of where we were at that point in our lives. In conclusion, as professional photographers, we can face a range of challenges that may lead to dissatisfaction with our own work. These challenges include high standards, burnout, overexposure, expectation and personal growth. However, there are ways to deal with each of these challenges such as focusing on the process rather than end results, taking breaks and prioritizing self-care, trying new things and stepping outside of our comfort zone, managing expectations and incorporating our own creative vision and embracing personal growth and evolution as a natural part of the creative process. Also, important part of getting better is getting feedback from others, as sometimes we can be less or overcritical of our work, especially if we invested lots of effort and time creating particular shots. But objective opinion from the side could give us an idea where we could improve next time. Remember that photography is a journey, and the more you invest in it, the more rewarding it will become. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope it helped you out. If you did, please do leave the video a like. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. Also, now you can watch this video that also might be helpful to you. But for now, have a nice day and keep shooting!